Hello there. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a method of analog video capture, in this case from a VHS camera, using a feature called Video Pass Through, which is basically the streaming of an analog video signal into something that can convert into a digital signal, such as um, the Panasonic DVX100 series, this is a 100A, and a select few mini DV cameras have this feature. I believe the Canon ZR series, some of them have the feature, but they use an S video input. On um, in this case, I'm using composite video and audio directly from the VHS camera into my DVX. Now the DVX just needs to be in playback mode, just as the VHS camera needs to be in playback mode. And it works better without a tape. And so, without the tape and the video streaming, here is what's showing up on the screen, and that's what's showing up on the VHS viewfinder. It is just paused right now. So, once you have that all hooked up and it's streaming, you'll want to connect your FireWire just as usual, just as if you were capturing your mini DB footage off your camera, and hooking it up to your computer that has a FireWire input. Opening up your capture software, or NLE, I'm using Premiere Pro CS5, and you can't use the controls, your usual controls. Um, you can, you know, like obviously record, but since um, you don't have, you're not accessing the actual VHS camera, you're just getting its stream. So you're going to need to use uh, the controls on here. And also I want to note that you don't even need, it doesn't need to be directly from a camera. You know, if you have a actual VHS camera, you can remove the VHS and just hook it up to a, maybe stick it into a VCR and play it off that and connect that to your camera. I've, I've done this before, but um, I'm I'm just doing it from the camera because it's VHS C, which is a smaller form, and these are obnoxious to use in VHS players. All the adapters are terrible. But anyways, um, most of the time. Once you have it streaming into your capture software, you can press record, and um, usually if you have it paused, press record and then press play, or not press play there, press play on the camera, see I just made that mistake, um, it'll start capturing the frames. And um, um, sometimes you'll have issues where it won't capture the frames, it'll just come to abrupt stops and see, I paused it and it's still recording the frame, so you have to like manually stop it. But I noticed that sometimes if it's um, being really finicky, you're going to want to just um, start recording, it might not say anything, then start rewinding on the camera, or you know, your VCR, and then let it play. And there's something about the little uh, glitchiness that happens here, I'll give you an example of the glitchiness that happens. Uh, forget my lack of terminology. But when it starts to play, you'll get something like that. I get that Nick, no matter what camera I'm using. But anyways, uh, just messing around with that could work. And sometimes you'll get out of sync audio, and I haven't found a solution to this, but you're just going to have to uh, find your workarounds or just try until it works. But anyways, I hope this helped people who want to capture analog video and don't want to buy one of those really expensive converters and maybe already have a camera that has the video pass through feature such as the DVX. So thank you very much uh, and have a good day.